move on to next reaction that next reaction would be soda lime decarboxylation soda lime decarboxylation would be the second method of preparation of alkene that we are going to study and in soda lime decarboxylation what happens we take a carboxylic acid and we take soda soda is sodium hydroxide and we take lime lime is calcium oxide quick lime and we also take a huge amount of heat when we do that we end up in rh and calcium carbonate very quickly we'll see the mechanism now I'll, I'll give you the I'll, I'll 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 tell you the line of thinking which you should have whenever we, you see a reaction. Whenever you see a reaction, you have to be very keen on the kind of reactant and the kind of reagent. Now, reagent when you look at the reagent, you must have an idea whether that's a strong reagent or that's a weak reagent. Strong reagent initiate reaction, and when you identify which are the strong reagent or the reagent that will initiate the reaction. you also start to identify the mechanism of the reaction for instance here we have sodium hydroxide calcium oxide and heat now heat straight away is not going to be initiating the reaction because heat does nothing but decomposition now at proper place where a proper leaving group can be cited and that there is a possibility of that leaving group to leave the compound then only the the we, the the heat will come into picture to properly decompose the substrate straight away heat is not going to do anything in the reaction calcium oxide is a salt it's stable it's not reactive so calcium oxide is not going to initiate the reaction this much of initial intuitive understanding we must have nawh is a strong base now this is going to do something this is a acid acid strong comparatively strong acid and this is a strong base now the first step of the reaction could be nothing but a simple acid base reaction so we have a acid and a strong base acid base reaction will occur and a salt would be formed sodium carboxylate water will be removed off now we have sodium carboxylate we have now calcium oxide and we have heat now what perhaps can happen now heat a calcium oxide this is a salt and this is a salt as well now no reaction can actually take place between these two now the role of heat will come here now we can see that there's a, now now you must have this very good idea by now that calcium carbon dioxide is a very good leaving group now you have to be keen at look at the possibility of removal of carbon dioxide gas from the substrate whenever there is such kind of possibility then always good leaving group leaves the substrate now if carbon dioxide gas have to leave it has to leave as co2 forming two c double bond o one of the c double bond o already exists we have to make the other c double bond o other c double bond o can be made if we have a plus charge on this carbon plus charge on the carbon and the minus charge on our oxygen can be used to make a bond right so there is already one bond between carbon oxygen another bond will be formed and co2 can be removed off now in order to do that this bond the electron and this bond have to be put into the orbital of the carbon in this r so when we do that this carbon gets devoid of its electron generating a plus charge on this carbon so what would happen is this carbon will start to acquire a plus charge and a bond will start to be formed between carbon and oxygen and if that when that process completes this r generates a whole minus one charge because of removal of carbon's electron into the orbital of carbon in this r and what comes from here is co2 gas right and this r minus is generated now this process will not be a easy process to happen because virtually we, really actually we are taking away the electron from this carbon and taking away a electron from a carbon from any atom requires energy and this is a kind of ionization like we are knocking out the electron from this carbon's orbital so that will require energy that will not be a very easy process to occur 
that's why we have taken heat if this heat is not given in this reaction this step will not occur and this is the RDS of the reaction this is the most slowest and the most difficult step to happen because a bond breaking is occurring in this step and that too resulting in a very weak intermediate a negative charge is coming on R R is basically alkyl negative charge will be on carbon atom and carbon atom by no way is capable enough to hold that negative charge because of small size and least electronegativity right so when we studied Grignard reagent if you remember we studied this reaction of Grignard reagent with carbon dioxide gas what happens is R minus attacks this carbon resulting in a carboxylate ion now same thing we can happen here this carbon dioxide gas can be attacked by this R minus and the reaction have a huge tendency to go backward because of high instability of this R minus right so R minus being very unstable and we have also having a breaking of a bond on in this step so this step requires huge amount of heat and this is the RDS of the reaction and without without this delta this reaction cannot occur now in order to derive the reaction forward if we remove off this CO2 then there is no possibility of this R- minus reacting with this CO2 or attacking on this CO2 to derive the reaction backward then the sponge for this CO2 would be calcium oxide this calcium oxide will quickly absorb carbon dioxide giving calcium carbonate now when there is no carbon dioxide the reaction cannot proceed backward so this becomes a driving force for pulling the reaction forward that's why calcium oxide has been added right now we don't have a CO2 the reaction cannot go backward and this is highly unstable this cannot remain as it is for a long time so this has to react with something and the something would be water will always be there like this water molecule has been formed there will be some water molecule in the solvent no matter what solvent we take even if you take ethanol it is never pure ethanol water will always be there even if there is no water in the solvent water will be in the moisture from somewhere this R- minus will abstract a hydrogen and become RH right this is the RH we have here so the final product will be alkene this is the organic product we are interested in fine this is the mechanism of the reaction now the importance is heat is very important without heat the reaction will not take place you have to bear in mind what is the RDS why is it difficult to occur now how to write the product in order to write the product you will remove off this CO2 and whatever R is left coupled with this hydrogen will get the corresponding alkene meaning the number of carbon which are in the acid reduced by 1 gives the number of carbon in the alkene retaining the basic structure in the R group right so this CO2 goes off in the form of carbon dioxide gas and remaining R plus H gives the alkane straightforward. Fine. So the product writing product is pretty simple. Easy. Now just to mention here, this this process, this removal of now this is carboxylic acid, right? This is called carboxyl group. Now removal of this carboxyl group is happening actually because this CO2 is re being removed off this carboxyl group is being removed off in the form of carbon dioxide gas so this process is called decarboxylation because carboxyl group is being removed so this is a kind of decarboxylation using soda and lime so this reaction is termed as soda lime decarboxylation now the previous reaction that we have studied called base electrolysis is also a kind of decarboxylation because in that if you look at the mechanism again that carbon dioxide gas is also evolved from that acid so carboxylic acid group is broken in form of carbon dioxide gas and we are left with R there a dimerization occur here there is no dimerization but nevertheless the carboxylic acid group is broken in both the cases so whenever that happens that carbo carboxylic acid group is broken in the form of carbon dioxide gas that process is called decarboxylation Colbase electrolysis was also a kind of decarboxylation. This is also decarboxylation. Specifically, we call this as soda lime decarboxylation.